back at it. Hopefully this uh, part will be more successful. I won't lose my voice or anything. I believe we were on number five, right? Strain. Let me make it a little bigger. Number five says strain, a kind of germ that can make you sick. I think the sentence is very helpful too. But before we read the sentence, let's talk a little bit about that word strain because in English, it can mean two very different things. So I want to talk about how it doesn't relate to disease at all. And maybe the more common way you will hear strain. And that means when you're doing something, but it's hard. Okay. For example, when I have my glasses on, I can read pretty easily. I can see things a lot more clearly. But if I don't have my glasses on, I would strain to read small print. When something is hard, you strain at doing it. For example, if there are, there are a lot of desks in this room, and maybe I was really sick, which I am, and maybe I'm a little weak, but I need to pick up the desk. If it's hard for me, I can say I, can say I strained with the desk. I strained when lifting the desk. It was hard for me to lift the desk. I strained quite a bit. So you might hear that also. But with diseases, there can be different strains of the flu. So each fall, you might be offered a vaccine for the flu. And maybe you get that shot. But you still get the flu because the vaccine protected you from a different strain of flu. That happens sometimes. Scientists predict which strain of flu will be popular, so they make a vaccine for that strain. But if another strain of the flu comes around, then the vaccine doesn't work. And that's what happened in 1918 is that there was a different strain of the flu and no humans had like protection against it. They did not have immunities. So let's read the sentence here for strain. The new strain of flu was different from last year's. There you go. Complications is number six. Complications. Can I make it a little bigger too? Maybe, yeah, let's make it a little bigger. So complications are new problems that make a situation harder or more serious. So here's a sentence. If a cold leads to more problems, like having trouble breathing, these are called complications. You might also hear the word complicated. So it just means something that makes things harder. So um, let's say, I hope this doesn't happen to you, but I know some of you are, are working now. You have new jobs. Well, your boss doesn't want you to be late, right? They want you to be on time. So let's say you leave your house at the normal time, but there's an accident and the road is blocked. For you, that would be a complication. That makes your life harder. You thought you were going to be getting to work on time, but because of that accident, your life now just became more complicated. You have a complication. Yeah, so that happens with older people too. I know if you're going into nursing, right? So maybe an older person, they get a cold, they get the flu. It's not good. But if they were a long time smoker and their lungs are not strong, well, that would be a complication because they would probably struggle with breathing. This made their life more difficult. Complications. What's number seven? I don't even know. Oh, gosh. Suffocate is the way that is pronounced. Suffocate. I'll make it bigger. To not be able to breathe. Suffocate. 
The room was so full of smoke that it was hard to breathe, and he felt like he might suffocate, suffocate. And I I know that when you are sick, <coughs> sometimes <clears throat> it might feel <clears throat> right now for me a little bit. It might feel like you are suffocating because your nose is just all full of things and your lungs might be all full of things. So suffocating uh, is what we call it when like the air is hard to breathe. You technically suffocate if you're underwater, drowning, but we just use it with air. So let's say you are in a big city and there is a lot of pollution in the air. It may feel like you're suffocating. So hard to breathe. Number eight, I will pronounce this a couple times, contagious, contagious, contagious. Easy to spread from one person to another. One thing I like to talk about is a yawn. In English, you know what a yawn is. People do it when they are tired, something like that. Well, yawns can be contagious. If you see another person yawn, that may make you want to yawn. Contagious. Sometimes a sickness can be contagious. If I have a cold and I'm coughing and I'm sneezing, <coughs> coughing, coughing into my hand, not good. You're supposed to cough here because if you're coughing and then you shake somebody's hand, well, guess what? you probably just gave them your cold sneezing chew all of that stuff gets into the air that's the virus trying to spread around to other people so if a sickness is contagious then you can give it up to other people maybe because you breathe on them or you just made a surface dirty and somebody else touches it dirty with your germs, contagious. Sometimes laughter can be contagious. If you see somebody in a video laughing a lot, that might make you want to laugh. Let's make this bigger. Number nine, what is it? Converted, converted. So that means you change something to be used in a new way converted. How about this sentence here? The big room was converted into a place for people to eat lunch. Converted. So it means changed in some way. Um, let's see. Sometimes schools are converted into new things. So, um, our old school, our old high school was just demolished. So that was not changed in any way. But sometimes older schools are turned into apartments. Like each classroom becomes a place for somebody to live. That has happened right in our town before. Old schools get converted into apartments. Hopefully that helps. We got one more. Makeshift. Makeshift. Can you see that? Is that on the screen? Let me make it bigger. Makeshift. Something made in a quick way to be used for a short time. They made a makeshift tent from a sheet and some sticks. Makeshift. So um, sometimes when there's like a tragedy, like think about 9-11. I think most people know that. Well, a lot of people were hurt. And there weren't a lot of hospital rooms. So there were some makeshift. Uh oh, the lights went off again. I kind of like it like that. Uh, so there were some, uh, just some makeshift hospital rooms on the side of the road to try to help people quickly. <coughs> I think this happened during uh, the coronavirus too. Ah, we'll just leave the lights off. But sometimes there were, um, because so many people needed hospital beds, 
They were just makeshift hospitals made in parking lots. They would put up a tent so they could treat people. This happens in war sometimes. Like a makeshift hospital is built really quickly to help the wounded.